Hello my keto peeps, it's Samaya and welcome back to my channel, I Don't Sugarcoat. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a really fun and interesting recipe. So let's get started. Again, today's video is sponsored by Wholesome Provision. They are a company located right here in the US and they specialize in making keto friendly products. Visit their website today and check out their catalog of fabulous low carb friendly products. I am certain there is something on there that everybody will just love. They have an array of stuff for your low carb baking goods and a bunch of pre-made stuff that you can pair with any meal. I will leave a link for their website in the description of today's video. Now let's jump into this recipe. Okay, so for today's recipe, I am super excited about it because I honestly, wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this product. I got sent these products here from Wholesome Provision. This right here is a meatless crumb. So it's a meat substitute, you guys. And I really wasn't certain how I was gonna feel about it. It comes in a bag and it also is plant-based. It is made with peas. So I really wasn't certain how I was going to feel about it. I honestly have never tried a meat substitute before. So being that this was my first experience with it, I was absolutely blown away by it. And I just had to share this with you guys. They have some nice, wonderful spices that they carry on their website now, along with this here product. And I love that they have what looks to be some accurate nutritional facts on here. You know, a lot of times you will get some, um, you know, you'll go and buy some spices and everything just says zero. So I appreciate that, you know, these have the carb count on them. So I really, really do like that. And they have a little bit of everything. They've got a pepper one. They have an Italian one. They have a Creole one. They have a Mexican one. They have a Greek one. And they also have an everything bagel one. So they have a little bit of everything. Like I said, for whatever it is you're trying to make up, you can kind of do a little bit of everything with this. So for today, I am going to be using the Mexican one. And I'm going to move these out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and get started with this recipe. So to start off, I have one cup of the meatless crumb in my bowl here. And the directions say you're gonna wanna add half a cup of water. Now, for those of you who are vegetarian, do that. For me, I'm not a vegetarian, so I'm gonna be adding half a cup of some beef stock. And I know you're probably thinking, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Well, or maybe you're thinking, why don't I just eat some ground beef? And I'll explain that to you right now. There are days that I really don't feel like eating meat because it makes me feel heavy. So I call those my light days where I just need something light to eat and I don't eat meat on those days. But this, this substitute right here will allow me to eat certain types of meals that still mimic the feeling of eating meat without actually eating meat. And it doesn't make me have that heavy feeling. And so that's why I like this. But I do want it to have a meat flavor, which is why I use stock with mine. But you can just use the water if you're vegetarian. So I'm gonna be adding half a cup of some hot, it has to be hot, hot water or hot stock. And I have some beef stock here and I'm adding that in now. And what it recommends that you do is you wanna stir it up and you wanna let this sit for five minutes to absorb the liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this here sit. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you how we are, oh, we're making tacos, you guys. I don't know if I said that. We are making tacos, meatless tacos. And I'm telling you right now, you're gonna absolutely love them. So I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and I will be back and I'll show you what we're doing next. All right, so it's been five minutes. And now what we wanna do is, we wanna go ahead and treat this like ground beef, I mean like some beef, and we're gonna brown it 
in here in this uh, skillet right here. I've put some um, olive oil in here and I'm just gonna toss this in. And we're just gonna brown this a little bit. And you're gonna basically act as though you're making tacos the regular way. And I will tell you now that, you know, obviously th this is not meat. So the smell is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit weird at first. It was to me, even, even with adding the beef stock, it's still not gonna smell like meat but it does help with the flavor. So if you're someone who wants to try this out, you know, if you're someone that eat, you eat meat and you wanna try this out, you know, that using beef stock or chicken stock or something like that really does help if you ask me. Um, but I also think it's all about how you spice it and season this as well, because it gives you that meat texture once it's all nice and um, moist. So those are just my thoughts on it. Okay, now that it's starting to brown, I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning this with my spices. I'm gonna be adding some salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Mexican spice here. I probably just sprinkled on about two to two and a half teaspoons here. And I also am gonna be adding some cumin. And I probably added about a teaspoon of that and then I'm gonna be adding uh, two tablespoons of some water. And I'll probably add a little bit more water. And as this is cooking up, I'm gonna give it a taste to see if I like where the spices are. And if not, then I will add in some more. And if you can see, to me, it resembles like ground chicken or something. That's what it resembles to me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Okay, and now I'm gonna add some more spices. So if you want some sort of measurement for the spices, I would probably say I added three and a half teaspoons of the Mexican spice here to two teaspoons of the cumin to about half a teaspoon of salt. And I've added a total of six tablespoons of some water. And I will put all of this down below. Okay, now that that's all nice and done and spiced just the way I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And now I'm gonna start building my tacos, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these. Don't they just look absolutely fantastic and completely authentic? This right here is an amazing way to enjoy tacos and I absolutely love it especially on a day when I'm trying to have a light day. Some of you guys might know what I mean. I don't know if any of you guys ever feel that way when you consume a lot of meat but sometimes I just need a light eat and this affords me that. So I'm going to go ahead and try one of these for you. I'm going to try the one that I put the sour cream on because I just love a good taco with some sour cream on it. Oh my gosh, and it's so steaming hot. Can you guys see that? It's so hot. Mm. Oh my God. Can you guys see inside of her? Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look like real meat? And it gives you that texture of meat as well. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. To me, you can't tell. I, I, I don't know, I don't know about any of you, but for me, there's no difference. I really want you guys to pick this product up, to try it, to let me know if you feel like you can tell a difference. But this is an amazing way to enjoy some tacos. And I have other recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys using this product because I think it's just absolutely fabulous. And I love having non-meat days. So 
that's going to be it for me today, you guys. And I'm going to leave the nutritional facts for this in the description of this um, video. But here you have it keto meatless tacos. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to ding that little bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. And until next time, you guys, bye.